Good day everybody. I'm just about to show you uh, the Raspberry Pi booting via LSTP uh, from Edubuntu Linux. Now this is uh, the server. Uh, it's running Edubuntu 12.04 which is the latest uh, from Edubuntu and it has the LTSP server installed. It's just a pretty much normal operating system. Now I've had this set up for quite a while and uh, over here we have an x86 system that's already running off the server. Um, it's logged into a different account. You need separate accounts. And uh, over here, next to the server, we have a Raspberry Pi. Um, it's plugged into a keyboard and a mouse and a TV. It's running through HDMI. There's the HDMI cable coming out of the side of the Pi box there. And all we have to do is plug the thing in and it will boot into Edubuntu via the switch here. It's a bit tricky to plug in one handed. Just wait a moment. There we go, and it's now booting. waiting for it to go through the motions and we should come up to a LTSP login screen very shortly this is just the kernel booting and uh, just waiting for a moment there we go LTSP login screen and we'll log in as a user uh, we'll use Tyrone, he's my grandson Hit enter. And the password. Uh, Hit enter. And uh, it's just verifying with the server over here. And there we go. The graphical environment is about to start. There it is. We have a desktop. There's all our applications. Um, internet. We'll start up Chromium web browser. We can search straight from the search bar. Uh, we'll search for CDU. There we go. Study online at CDU. Uh -huh. I'm already doing that. Charles Darwin University. Oh, we got open day tomorrow. Wonderful. I'd love to be going, but uh, I'm about three or four thousand kilometres away. Anyway, you can see it runs quite fast. Uh, we've also got all the programs available to us that are installed on the server. We've also got uh, Firefox. Where is it? Firefox browser. There we go, Ubuntu start page. Um, we've got a few little errors going on, that's pretty normal. Uh, we've got Office programs, uh, LibreOffice Writer. Look how quick this starts up. This is using the processing power of the server. There we go, a LibreOffice Writer. 
Now I can't tie it one handed. Hello CDU. File. Save. Untitled one. That will save it in a directory on the server in Tyrone's account. Okay. And uh, we can even open a spreadsheet. I just can't believe how fast this runs. LibreOffice Calc. Look at that. That opens in seconds. This is faster than your fast Windows machine running Office. That's for sure. Mono develop. Look at this. We can actually do programming on the Pi. There we go. Mono develop is um, the open source equivalent of uh, the Microsoft.NET developing programs. And uh, it works quite well. Um, Oh, and we've got all sorts of things. We can play games. Oh, I can't play any of these games anyway. I'm hopeless. We've also got... Uh, well, the file manager. There's the home folder. What's in there? Pictures. Oh, there's no pictures. See if there's any music. There's no music. Videos. There's no videos. Oh well. Tyrone hasn't got anything. Documents. Oh look. There's our uh, document we saved earlier. LibreOffice. Look at that. Hello CDU. There's another one. Hello text. Hello world. Anyway, that concludes this short demonstration. Um, I hope it inspires some of you to have some fun with some pie. Thanks very much.